Hey guys, it's Kelsey here. So this is going to be just another quick Black Friday haul video just so you guys kind of can see what you're going to get if you order from Studio Calico next Black Friday. This is one of the kits that I had ordered. It was $10 and I so I knew that I was going to get the Sandlot kit and the glue came apart so <laughs> that's the only reason that I knew that this was one that I had specifically ordered. So this is going to be really quick because um, my voice is going and my battery on my phone is going. So this is going to be just like super lightning fast through these four videos hopefully. Or these four kits I should say. So those are some cute labels that I got. And these are all from scrapbook kits or add-ons. These are the scrapbook grab bags. Some like um fabric ribbon these are the like letter they're clear acetate alphas basically you can see that one it's clear but it's got the the label or the uh alphabet in the middle a big version of this we got a little version in one of the project life kits these little um wooden numbers I'll definitely use those in Project Life. I was kind of saying that in my last haul video, that even though I got the scrapbook um, kits because I didn't want to have duplicates for my Project Life stuff, they're actually, you can use them all on regular Project Life spreads. You don't have to use them as 12 by 12 papers, um, and all of the embellishments will fit, so why not just go ahead and use them in your Project Life? So these, it doesn't say who else they're by, just Studio Calico. But it's, they look like little stickers or maybe just chipboard or um, cardstock and you can put adhesive on the back. But these are super cute. I didn't even like look super close. So you get like six sheets. That's a pretty good deal. I like those. Okay. Um, and then this talks about the featured artist of the month which I remember like they put him on the blog and everything so that's kind of cool an alphabet silver that's really cute I really like this stamp set it says be happy and it's got an arrow and then one two three four five that was designed by Shauna Noel I really like her style then Got some washi tape. Which is, I don't, it reminds me kind of um, like s traffic lights. I don't even know why. I guess because it's just these polka dots on a line. Or maybe like a map. That, I guess that's what, maybe like a subway map where it shows you like here's the stops. But this washi tape is really cool. Ugh. It's not unsticking for me but so it's got all these different polka dots and lines super cute really like that and then for the papers this is called urban planner I really like that side who what when where how I do like that but I like that side better mile marker bravo I really like this side. That's really cool. Prismatic. I do like that side. Um, I think I like this side better because you can watercolor on it. Candy Shop. Super cute. Free Verse. I do like that. I could see just filling that entire thing with script and then maybe like a small photo or something. Love letters. It just says love all over. I really like that side. It's super cute. You me, you plus me equals us. And this is called Hiya. That's really pretty. I love that. Although I will say these papers a lot that are kind of thin. And then you get a piece of purple cardstock, white and blue. Kind of a robin's egg blue and gray. I really like those colors. I just like this whole kit in general. 
So, even though it's $3 more than the grab bag kits, it was definitely worth it. So, I'll put that back in the broken bag. <laughs> and quickly move on to the next. I'm going to have so much reorganizing to do. It's a good thing that I don't have to work this weekend because if I did have to work this weekend, I would definitely be in trouble because the studio is kind of packed in here and since I have to share with my husband, he's not going to be very happy. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what kit this is from, but it looks like an October kit, one of the October kits because it says October Ampersand 2014. And it's funny because we got one of those for December in the Project Life kit, so that's kind of cool. We got sequins, star sequins, in kind of a coppery color. A wood veneer alphabet. Looks like it's like packed, so I can get tons of layouts done with that. Um, this is a make magic that's what it says and it's a silk screen I really like I've liked the silk screens I know some people didn't really like them but I I really did like them and then I had seen this before um, and I knew like people didn't really know what to do with it but you can mist over it you can just use it on the layout um, you can, like kind of paint around there or trace it so kind of a stencil or you could just kind of put it on there either way so that's kind of cool now these I don't like so much they're like resin flowers I'm not a big floral fan you guys know this <laughs> or if you're new to my channel you will quickly learn I don't like flowers <laughs> I don't know why I'm not the Grinch of flowers I just don't really like it um, this is just a book page and it looks like this one's better. I had gotten one in a recent kit and it said something about bowls and I, I don't even know. It was just a really weird book page and you just, I don't know, even though you're not reading the book page, it would be nice if it said nice things like a book of poetry or something. <laughs> um, so bright pink doilies. I'm kind of embracing doilies. I don't love them, but um, I like them more than I used to. So the hot pink's kind of cool. I like this stamp set. It says just go and then just like these little tick marks. And this is by Paper Sushi and Studio Calico. I just really like that. And then for the papers around the block, Boardwalk. That reminds me of Qbert. Does anybody else ever play Qbert? I like that game. Um, Covent Garden. So this is a piece of vellum. It's rose, like kind of rose gold, but then there's flowers all over it. This is called Chandelier. I like that striped pattern better. Hi, hello. Not a big fan of either side, but that's okay. Hopscotch. Noted. This is from the Notes and Things collection. I have looked for this paper and I wanted this paper. So I'm super excited. And then craft on the back. Super cute. This is by Studio Tech to Rec and it's called One Way Ticket Number Three. Ooh, I really like this side. That side I'm not completely sold on. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Oh, but all the words are different. It says dream. How you doing? Let it be. Keep it simple. Go on. Go. Go and adventure. I don't know. But that's kind of cool. This is one way ticket number eight. That's a cute one. And then you get orange craft, blue, and white cardstock. So 
so I do like that one. I mean, for $7, if you can't find one thing that you like in a kit, I mean, I, I like a lot of the elements. I think the wood veneer alphabet's really cool. I like the stamp set. I mean, for $7, I love it. I would have been really mad if I paid like $30 for that when it was brand new. That's one thing that I don't like about Studio Calico's add-on kits. I don't feel like their add-on kits are a huge value, to be honest. But um, I really like their products, don't get me wrong. But I don't feel like that would have been a kit worth $20 or $30. But I feel like for $7, i am really happy. So this one also is coming apart at the seams, literally. So this I recognize as being from one of the like spring, like March kits. Because I got the card kit at the time and the Project Life kit. And this is one of my favorite kits of the year. Um, I just really loved all the colors. So these are petal sequins, like they're flower sequins. Those are so pretty. A bright green tag. These twine and ink enamel dots. I love these. I just love all the colors in this set. The blues and the reds, the pinks and the greens. Like, I just think it's such a pretty set. These are rub ons. You only get one sheet, but um, they're by Life Love Paper. But they're big, they're huge. And I like the color. Some wooden buttons. Those will be fun to stitch through, so I'll have to definitely do that. And this cute little flower stamp. These are really cool. It says Rad Spring and March. And I like it. It doesn't give a year, so I can use it next March, or I can find a layout from last March that I can do. Um, this is just like the cards. These alphabet stickers, I love. These are thickers. You get green and blue. Oh my gosh, I love these. These I think are from Crate Paper because I got some that were like pink on one side and cream on the other, but they had the same like hearts. So cute. I love these. That's called Mayfield. I really like the colors on that. Beneath the Skies. I definitely remember getting the card kit for this month. Gingham. Ooh, that's kind of cool. This is called All That Glitters, and it's got gold diagonal stripes. Lush. Oops. Check it out. I think that's a crepe paper one. Because I thought I had another sheet of that. This one's blank on that side. It is called Basic Gray, designed exclusive for Studio Calico. This is also another basic gray. This is from their fresh cut line. And then you get red, charcoal, white, and it looks like a light pink. Yep. So very spring colors. Very pretty spring colors. So this, I think, would have been like the main scrapbook kit for that month. So this was not an add-on, I, I don't think anyway, but it seems to me like it's a regular, just like a full-on kit. So that is just such a great deal. I mean, seriously, for $7. Awesome. Amazing deal. And then, finally, last, but certainly, hopefully, not least, the last... Hey everyone, so sorry my last video got cut off and I'm not exactly sure where, um, but my phone died. So, um, this is the last kit that I received in the Black Friday um, Studio Calico stuff. Kits. Haul. Whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right in and finish this up real quick. These are silver and white rub-ons from Shauna Noel. Super cute. I really like those. I even like the flowers. Then this piece, it's like a blue painted wood veneer with circles. 
Um, I don't know if I'll use this as a piece or if I'll use it like as a like um, mask or stencil. Um, but I, I really like it. It's just, I don't know what to do with it. Some like green velvety ribbon. This has intrigued me as well. It's a giant wood, wood veneer or die cut. Um, I really like that. I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe back, back it with some papers or put like a picture in the middle. I don't know, but I do like it. Here are some sequins. They look kind of peachy pink colored. Nope, they're orange. It's like an orangey peach color. So you get like stars in two different sizes. Those are cute. Then there's this paper bag with little white polka dots. And I actually like the scallops on the edge and the top. That's really cute. These mini banner, banner stickers by Hello Forever. Um, I actually really like these. I don't love the colors. Like, I don't love this color exactly. But I really like just, like, the little stickers. I like using them on layouts, Project Life spreads, mini albums. They're just great. And they're thin and flat. So that's awesome. This stamp set is by Shauna Noel. And it says, You are my favorite hello and hardest goodbye. And it looks like they're... They're two separate stamps because then the other one is a frame or a tag. And I like that the tag has kind of like a sketchy border. I think that's super cute. Okay, and then these gems from Studio Calico, which I like the colors. I don't use gems a ton, but I do like the colors on here. And then I kind of took a peek at this alphabet while I didn't open it yet but I took a peek at it while I was waiting for my phone to charge and this is super cool the only bad thing about it it is a transparent alphabet so I don't I'm gonna have to staple it because you can't really use glue let me see okay here's a piece of white paper so you'll be able to see they look I don't know they have like, there are definitely photos in the background of, like, clouds or there's, like, some city pieces. But they're just super pretty. I love the color. They're, like, pinks and peaches. Um, but I really like them. And it looks like you get, like, at least some numbers. Or nine. Um, so that's really cool. And I think those are really pretty. Honestly, I don't remember seeing this kit. So I have no idea. I mean, I know it probably would have been out in the last 12 months. It kind of looks like a spring or summer kit just from the colors. Um, the pinks and reds and blues. But I don't know. But I really like it. I wish they would at least tell you, like, which kit they came from. But, oh well. Anyway, now for the paper. This is called Swan Boat. And, you know, that pattern was in the 4x6 paper pad that I got last month. So maybe this is a more recent kit. I honestly don't know. And that pink honeycomb was in the last month's kit too. So maybe this is just a Walden kit. This is called Sprinkles Vellum and it is by Doodlebug. Um, but it's all these like, em they're embossed pink red um, polka dots. So that's really cool. Yep, I bet this was last month. And oh my gosh, I am so excited to have this paper. Um, this was one of the reasons why I got the 4x6 paper pad, just to have some of these patterns in the um, 4x6 size. Um, so maybe this was October, but I love this paper. I love the bright colors, the greens and the blues. I just love it. So definitely, definitely using that one. This is called One Way Ticket Number 10. It's by Studio Tech to Rec. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna decide between that page and that page? I have no idea. I honestly don't, because I love both of them. I really do. Oh my gosh, this kit, I wasn't super excited about it, but I hadn't looked at the papers yet. This is called Girl's Best Friend. And I like the back a little bit better than the front. 
this paper I love. I loved it in the 4x6 size. It's called Float On. And then, uh, I love the backside even more, though. I just love the watercolor look. I'm really into the watercolor look right now. Well, hello. I like that gray pattern. Eh, not a fan of florals. You guys know this. And again, floral. That's kind of a cute check on the back. This is by Paisley Press for Studio Calico, and this is called About Us. Easy to spot by Studio Calico. I really like this side with the light blue. Currently, I really like this paper and some black checks. And for cardstock, you get like that dark teal, a bright red, a white, and a like a gray. Yeah, it's kind of a purpley gray, but it's really pretty. So anyway, that finally wraps up all of my Black Friday Studio Calico shopping. I feel like I got a ton of kits for the money. I mean, seven and ten dollars a piece for kits is just unbelievable. So, honestly, I'm so super thrilled, and I'm gonna be making a ton of layouts. So, stay tuned. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, just because, like I said, there's gonna be a ton of layout videos soon, and I'll probably even cut some of this up and use it for Project Life or a Project Lifestyle mini album, because, like I said, I'm. I got a lot of scrapbooking to do. I have a ton of photos that I want to scrapbook. Um, I just, honestly, I felt more creative in the past, like, week. And I feel like I'm finally getting some projects that have been on the back burner just kind of banged out. So I am super excited. Just glad to be productive and feeling creative. And now I have tons of new goodies. So, all right. I will see you guys later. And I will have some Project Life videos up soon. I've got a bunch that I've caught up on. So you guys will get to watch them in big batches if you're into Project Life. And if not, then I will have a few other videos um, to post for you guys. 12 by 12 layouts and um, some mixed media style stuff. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys have really helped me on a bunch lately. I've gotten subscribers. Almost every single day I've gotten at least one subscriber, if not multiple subscribers, and um, you guys are just really helping me out by clicking on the ads and looking at my sponsors on there and heading over to the blog and Instagram and Pinterest. Like, I'm just totally feeling the love and I really appreciate it. And I will definitely be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I did one at, I think it's... 300 so I decided not to do one for 500 um, but I'm gonna go up to a thousand so yeah if I get to a thousand subscribers um, I will definitely be doing a big giveaway so stay tuned for that so you make sure you want to be a subscriber for that so thanks so much for watching guys I really really appreciate it and I will see you guys again soon have a great day guys